Hello, everyone. Welcome to my research presentation. Today, I'm going to present you a recent study I done. The effectiveness of natural essential oils as mosquito repellent. I'm Sydney Bandugata, grade six B, girls high school, Kandy. These are the contents I would walk through in this presentation. This brings you interesting findings of my research. Therefore, stay focused through to the end. This tiny insect brings us fear of death. Being a victim of the dengue fever once, I am much concerned about mosquito bites and its bad impact. There are so many methods using as mosquito repellent, but most of them are known as poisonous. From this research, I am going to study the effectiveness of the selected natural home remedies, for example, lavender oil, cinnamon oil, and lemongrass oil. In this research, I observed the normal behavior of mosquito around our residence and changes of the mosquito behavior when applying a selected essential oil. Background of the research Mosquito-borne diseases are a major health concern. Approximately 50% of the world population is at risk of spreading of dengue disease. Third largest dengue cases reported in Kani District in 2020. Available mosquito repellent products are having health hazards. It is important to use an effective and healthy method to repel the mosquitoes. The main objective of this research is to study the effectiveness of the known essential oils using as a mosquito repellent. The other objective is to identify if there are any slight effects caused by applying essential oils on the skin. These are the resources used for this study. Three types of essential oils, JB cream, MS Word for documentation, MS Excel for data analysis, and video editing software. Sample. To do the study, I selected location of my garden and inside the home. Therefore, mosquito sample is both indoor and outdoor mosquito population. Data collection. Observation of mosquito population and its behavior when using repellent and not using repellent within highly active time between 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Data analysis. Analyzing collected data using MS Excel to find out the effectiveness of using a mosquito repellent. Main steps of the study. Sample selection. As mentioned in the previous slide, I selected sample as mosquito population around my house, which covers both indoor and outdoor mosquitoes. It made me easy for this study. Selected time period is during the evening hours between 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. as it is convenient for me also an active time of the mosquitoes. Preparation and background search. As a preparation for the study, I got the prior knowledge by browsing the internet. I read some research done by scientists. I watched interesting YouTube videos on the relevant topic was much helpful. Data collection. This was the most challenging part of the study as I had to bear up with irritating mosquito bites. During the data collection, I did observation of mosquito bites without applying anything and then observation of mosquito bites after applying selected essential oil. I did this study for 12 days, each day exposed to 
20 minutes to mosquitoes, 10 minutes for each observation with and without fibula. Covered both indoor and outdoor environment, I used three different essential oils and repeated the same four times for 12 days. These are all the data I collected throughout the observation. As you can see, I have recorded both figures of without any repellent and after applying repellent. Also, you can see both indoor and outdoor counts. I have considered two factors, spike and attempt to bite. Because after applying the oil, mosquitoes were just reaching and attempted to bite and then flew away. I took those counts separately. Average mosquito bites without using repellent in the outdoor is 18.5 for 10 minutes. Average mosquito bites without using repellents in the indoor is 3.5 for 10 minutes. After analyzing the data, these are the findings and results. Average effectiveness of cinnamon is 98%, lavender 100%, lemongrass 90%. 7%. Average effectiveness against number of attempts, cinnamon 96%, lemon 100%, lemongrass 89%. According to these findings, lavender oil is much effective than other two oils because it shows 100% effectiveness than other two types of oil. Here you can see a comparison between indoor and outdoor effectiveness. The findings clearly indicate all these repellents are highly effective in indoor environments. Conclusions Lavender oil is much more effective than the cinnamon oil and lemongrass oil. However, both cinnamon and lemongrass oil have shown more than 97% effectiveness all three types of oils much effective in indoor environments than outdoor environment. None of these essential oils shown any skin irritation or side effects. These are the few risks and limitations I identified during the study and suggestions to overcome those limitations. Counting mosquitoes in the outdoor is a challenge due to the weather and other reasons. Counts can be different each day. For that, I suggest it would be more successful if controlled number of mosquitoes used for the study. Example by using a box covered by a net. It, it was a risk for me to exposing to mosquitoes purposefully. For that, I suggest vaccination for mosquito-borne diseases should taken before exposing to the mosquitoes in this kind of study. And this is the time frame I planned initially. I tried my best to adhere to this time plan. These are the valuable resources I used to get knowledge on this topic. Hope you enjoyed my presentation. Thank you for watching. I'm Sydney Mandagota, grade 6B of Girls High School, Candy.